looking and everything, uh, you know, things all look good, so we'll kind of continue. We need to get people to be proactive about their health, know their numbers, meaning their cholesterol, their blood sugar, their body mass index, their waist size. Heart disease is the number one cause of death in women, far more than any of the cancers put together. Initially, a lot of patients, I treat them when they are acutely ill, uh, meaning they've come in with a heart problem. And once we stabilize them from the uh, acute aspect of the disease, and some of which are life-threatening, then we try to get them to realize if they don't change their risk factors and change how they're living, they're going to have this problem again. You know? Just somebody being uh, obese, meaning a BMI above 30, that decreases their lifespan. And then if they get a BMI above 40, that takes off about 10 to 13 years of their life just by carrying that extra weight around. We're all not going to be runway models or that type of thing. But you can still be fit and healthy, and you really got to take the weight off. Start with one tablespoon less of everything you eat at every meal. Try not to eat after 7.30 at night. Because the biggest thing is, I, you know, I hear, it's like, well, I tried that and I get, I just stop, I get short of breath, or my knees start to, well, yeah, I, you know, you're going to because you haven't used those muscles or you haven't done anything. So, so, But it's so rewarding, on the other hand, when you do have people that have dropped the weight and they can't, even, say, 40 pounds, you know, so they may still be overweight, but they can't get over how much better they feel. You know, we try to directly make the case for them to do it for themselves uh, and that they need to get healthier and that they really can affect their, their lifespan and their lifestyle.